Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we are going to be talking about Stillwater. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, let's get to it. Pros. Well, the movie stars Mid Demon. That never gets old. <laughs> Matt Damon, you all probably know who he is. He's a very uh, recognizable name in Hollywood. He has, he's had quite the career. Like, he really has. Like, he's done quite a bit. Looking at his track record here. Track record really didn't go anywhere until uh, Goodwill Hunting. That was his main breakout role. At least I think it is. Yeah, that was Goodwill Haunting, Saving Private Ryan, Miss Townsend, Mr. Ripley. What else? Ocean, the Ocean's Trilogy. It was that. And the Bourne movies, where he was Jason Bourne. Bourne Identity, Bourne Supremacy, Bourne Ultimatum, Jason Bourne 2016. Uh... But his biggest hit by far, uh, The Martian, that was huge, huge for him. And then his last movie before all, before, you know, pandemic happened, uh, 4v Ferrari, which did relatively okay, considering it was a Disney Fox movie, and those movies are basically just out there to die. So, yeah, overall, his track record is all right. It's not the absolute greatest, but I guess when he's paired with the right material, his movies do super well. Plus, he's super, plus he is recognizable, so I guess we consider that a pro. Although he's had quite a few bombs, and we will get to that when we get to the cons. But overall, still a recognizable name, so I have to give it. I have to give it a pro. Uh, that's pro number one. Pro number two, ch -ch -ch -ch, what can I say? Not sure. I don't know much about this movie, honestly. Like, I'm trying to, trying to think what else this movie has really going for it. I mean, darn, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm stumped. I really am stumped. I mean, it's one of the few movies coming out this month that's original. It's not based off like on a sequel or a franchise or anything. So I guess it helps it stand out a little bit more. But yeah, after I got nothing. I, I have nothing after that. So cons. Matt Damon, for all his hits, he's had quite a few bombs. And, and you know... <laughs> Of all his years, without a doubt, his worst year was in 2017. He had not one, not two, but three bombs, one after the other, in the forms of The Great Wall, Suburbicon, and Downsizing. Movies I seriously doubt you even remember existed. And movies nobody saw. Well, I mean, The Great Wall did have the overseas box office, but you can't say the same about Suburbicon or Downsizing. So all those movies were duds. And with some of his other movies, even his successful movies, he's had like an ensemble cast to help him, especially the Oceans trilogy. Like Jason Bourne, that was all on his own, but that also had a strong brand name that you know helped it out. But, oh yeah, there's also Contagion. But that was also an ensemble piece, so that doesn't really count either. I guess so, Justin Burrow did all right. Uh, yeah, Green Zone, Invictus, Informant, just complete duds, relatively speaking. Elysium didn't do terrible, but it didn't do great either. Especially considering that was a Neil Blockcamp's follow-up to District 9. It didn't live up to expectations. So yeah, his track record, it's very spotty. He's had a lot of highs and a lot of lows. So yeah, <laughs> we consider that a con. All of his, the fact that he's not super reliable at the box office, despite being a well-known actor. 
Uh, other cons. Yeah, this movie feels very small scale when compared to the other two movies coming out this weekend. Those movies being Green Knight, Jungle Cruise. I feel like this is just one of those situations where one of these movies are, is going to fall through the cracks and nobody's going to even remember it. And I feel like this is that movie. This is the one that will fall in the cracks. I've seen this happen time, time, and time again. And I just, I really don't see this movie succeeding at all. <laughs> it feels just a little too small scale, in my opinion. So, I'll consider that a, a con. Uh, any other cons? Obviously, COVID, pandemic, Delta variant, all that. But... I don't, I don't know if this movie would have done well in the pre-pandemic time. So, yeah. But I'm just going to label it, label all that as a con. Just because. Because that's what I've been doing for the past year. So, why not? So, opening weekend. Mm, I'm going to go with, like, the highest I am comfortable going with is $5 million. For opening weekend, that's I can't go any higher than that. Then opening week, then overall I'll probably reach like fifteen million, maybe fifteen to twenty if it's lucky. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I don't have much else to say. I mean, I I really don't have much else to say about it. Now next week, whew, next week, we got a big, big, big movie on our hands. The Suicide Squad. Without a doubt, the biggest movie since Black Widow. It's going to be an HBO Max movie. So that easily the biggest HBO Max movie to date. So that should be a fun time. I don't know about nine days, though. I don't think I'm going to cover that. Then next few weeks, we got Don't Breathe 2, Free Guy. And then after that, we got four movies coming out at once. Night House, Paw Patrol, Protégé, Reminiscence, and at the end of the month, Candyman. And yeah. So August is going to be real interesting. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But yeah. Anywho, uh, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? I got a playlist on the homepage with all previous Prediction videos I made this year for all movies big and small from your, your, your F9s, your Quiet Place 2s, your Black Widows to your gosh. What, what, what movies? What small scale movies have I covered? I guess Zola. There's Zola. There's Voyagers. I doubt. I sincerely doubt anyone remembers that. Uh. Your Chaos Walkings. There we go. Yeah, your Chaos Walkings. Your Those Who Wish Me Dead. Pretty much all the big and... All BD... Dang, I cannot talk right now. All the big, medium, and small movies that have come out and wide release this year. If you want to watch any of those, you can go right ahead. There's also Box Office... Well, not Box Office. Well, there's the Cancel series where I go over... All the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. That series may or may not come back depending on how bad this Delta variant situation gets. But as of right now, there are 71 episodes you can watch. That way you're up to date on all these movies and when they come out and stuff. And then there's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. The July recap will come out next week. And if you want to watch any of my past recap videos, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.